Hello, Ryan. Yes, sir. Jeff J.C. Callaway, how you doing? We're doing all right today. How are you? Okay, congratulations on your victory. Thank you, sir. Hey, I mean, I mean, you're really on fire right now. Tell, let's, let's tell the golf community who you are and what's your background. Where, where are you from and who are you, Ryan? I'm Brian Alfred from Shreveport, Louisiana, currently 24 years old. Uh, been playing pretty well lately. Uh, my buddy, I've been practicing him a bunch. He's actually on PGA Tour right now, so he's been giving me a run for my money here lately, so I think that's been yeah. very beneficial to me. When, when did you start playing golf? Uh, probably at the age of four. At four? Wow. Sure. And, and, and what's your, your background? So you came up through the through, uh, the junior golf rankings? Uh, actually, uh, the first tee. Uh, first tee in Northwest Louisiana is actually my dad. Actually, he's the executive director there now. Uh, he runs the golf course. I've been in the first tee program for many years. So I've been... I've been around the game for a while. You know, uh, I was out there and I watched you in, in uh, Las Vegas, and um, I was really impressed with your swing, uh, first of all, but how effective it was. Uh, how long have you been a professional now? Uh, year and a half, going on two years. And you went to college, correct? Um, Louisiana Tech. Louisiana Tech. And uh, what did you major in there? Uh, business management, undergrad, and I got an MBA in business as well. How, how did you How did you get that swing that you're that you're playing with now? You working with a coach or who are you working with? Uh, yeah, I have a coach. I actually have two coaches. Uh, so I got a full swing coach and short game coach as of right now. Uh, that guys actually know each other. They work hand in hand with each other, so we got a good little team going on together right now. That's good. So the, the only team is your coaches. Or do you have any other team uh, members that's, that's working with you? Because I think um, as I'm investigating and looking at at you know the African American uh, black golfers out there, I think the team concept is important to have a team. What, what do you feel about yeah. that? Oh, most certainly. You got to have a team, man. You got to have somebody who believes in you. Not as, I mean, not only yourself, but you got to have somebody around you who believes in you, who's showing you that, showing the, showing you that you can do it. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of guys that believe in me, man. So that's 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 what I'm riding with right now. And what does that do for you psychologically, or com- compared to just being out there by yourself all the time? Uh, I just think it's the confidence. You gotta have confidence in this game. Short term memory, you gotta have some confidence. So you gotta believe in yourself, number one. So that's where I'm at right now. Hey, you look like you're in pretty good shape. You on a on a on a, a workout fitness regimen as well? See, when I was in college, we we used to work out four times a week. So I don't do four times a week anymore. I'll do three, or three to two, but I get a good workout in. I still do cardio and stuff like that. I'm, I'm real big on. Yoga, man, stretching, swimming, uh, just trying to get flexible. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. Yeah, the weight rooms, the weight room is good, but I think flexibility is is more more important than the weight room, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, I got a couple of uh, pros that I've been talking to, and, and I have actually been uh, promoting that, um, you know, to be a little bit supple with the muscles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what what was your biggest challenge out there at Valhalla uh, over the last couple of days? Uh, see, today and yesterday, man, I, honestly, I, it was two different golf courses. Yesterday, the wind was subtle. This afternoon, today, the wind picked up. It's hotter for sure. Uh, the greens were a little bit faster, a little bit harder. So the golf course played a little bit tougher today. It showed his teeth for sure. And how did you how did you manage? Because you had uh, Willie Mack on your back. I don't know if you knew that. Did you play with Willie out there today? Yeah, I did. I played with Willie today. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I started out okay, but I, I didn't have my best today. And I kind of weathered the storm. And uh, I just kind of 
gave what what it presented presented to me, man. Uh, normally, I know where the ball is going. I know where it's where to hit it. I know where to put it. So today, uh, I got off to a decent start, but I didn't I didn't have it all today, my man. And, and you still pulled it off. I, you right. didn't have it all, but you went. So, what would you tell the people that are listening? Uh, you know, golfers that are listening, that when they don't have it, what do you do? How do you you pull that out of out of you? You know, yourself and get the you gotta, best out of you and hang in there. You got to dig deep, man. You got to dig deep. Cause you put in all this work. Some days it's gonna be better than other days, but I've always been told uh, when you don't have it. You got to bring something to the table. So, so what do you mean by dig deep? Can you be more specific? Uh, going down into the, the memory bank, man. All the all the days of practicing, all the days of putting, all the white brains work. You just go back to the routine. You get back in your routine, and you go from there. Uh, at the end of the day, man, it, it's it's golf. It's a game. I love the game to death, but. Uh, that's what that's what it is, man. It's just. How bad do you want it? That's what it boils down to. You know, and 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 I'm proud to say that's words from a winner, advice from a winner, two-time winner on the APGA tour. Uh, I'm actually gonna pick you uh, for for three times, three in a row. All right. Got it in you? You know, you know, you're helping me out here too, cause I got a little thing going on on the side. You know, <laughs> and I said, hey, when I was out there with you in, in, in Vegas, I was watching you, and I said, man, right. this man right here put this, you know, you put, you keep it in play, you know. You right. hit a, you hit a, a, a straight ball, and I think that's the name of the game, long and straight, not just long and wrong. I think, you know, right. the long game is kind of uh, uh, over, wait, 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 how would you say it? It's kind of overdone. You know, to a certain degree, yeah. you know, yeah. but that, that ball keeping it in play is where it's at. Uh, well, I'm not going to hold y'all. I just got a couple of more questions. Uh, so what was working with you well out there these last couple of days? What was working well for you? Uh, I feel like my game plan was pretty good. So I always try to make a game plan during my practice round, see what I see, what I can see, do my, do my homework on the golf course, and we go from there. That doesn't matter. I mean, that's each event, each tournament I go to. Right. So that course management is, is very important ahead of time, and they always have a strategy. You got to have a game plan. Got to have that game plan before you go out there. And this is my last right. question, because I know you want to go celebrate. You got a nice little check, so you can move around a little bit more now. I know you're moving <laughs> around anyway, but <laughs> that check must be nice. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. Uh, what would you tell the, the high handicappers? What would you tell them to lower the score? Scores. Uh, uh, I say the the most the most important thing I can say for any golfer, I mean, is practice with a purpose. I and mean, that's 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 the biggest thing. A lot of people go to the driving range just to see the ball fly. I mean, anybody can hit the ball. But that's not where you're gonna make your money at. You're, you're gonna make your money around the green, 150 yards in. So that that's the that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, a lot of people go to the putting green and just putt. But uh, I just feel like it's gotta it's gotta be a purpose with it. Well, there it is. You hear it? Yes, sir. From a you heard it from a two-time winner on the A PGA Tour, who edged out Willie Mack the third today. And congratulations once again, Ryan Alfred. And thank you for your time. I really appreciate you and hope to run into you and watch you play again. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right.